Hey everyone, it's Mike DeShazer here in Seoul, South Korea at Proof, and today we're going to talk about margin positions, liquidations, and DeFi. So I received a message from a fellow coder the other day who mentioned to me that he saw these opportunities to make tens to hundreds of thousands of dollars in a liquidation strategy, and but he couldn't link together the flash loans to borrow you know the hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands of dollars they needed to then take that liquidate someone collect their collateral, swap the collateral into another asset, pay back the loan with the money they borrowed for the flash loan, and then take the profits. So I thought that would be an interesting topic. Uh, I, I wrote out some of the code for him and, and, and sent, sent it over, but I thought it might be useful for you as well if you're interested in getting a more holistic view of what's happening in the DeFi space. So let's talk about margin. So platforms such as BZX and DYDX allow you to borrow money by putting up collateral of a cryptocurrency. So you put that those funds up and then you can go leverage long or leverage short on specific tokens like Ether, Chainlink, REN, etc. You can use 100% leverage, 200% leverage, sometimes even 300% leverage, which is like, you know, two to three times your, your capital. But the issue is when the price drops like it did yesterday, 10% or, or more, over a few days, you could actually get liquidated. Now, in centralized exchanges, when this happens, when you borrow money from the exchange or a broker or other parties, you'll get a margin call or something like that, or a centralized party will liquidate your collateral, or it'll go down to kind of to your credit score, things like that. DeFi doesn't quite work like that, in a sense that it depends on third parties like me and you to identify when these liquidations need to take place. And then there are incentive mechanisms built into these platforms that allow users to actually liquidate and then receive a reward sometimes. So when these are really big liquidations and the millions of dollars, those rewards can be worth hundreds to tens of thousands of dollars. So today we're going to look at code that was built yesterday uh, that I was using to try to help someone who wanted to kind of take advantage of these opportunities. Uh, it incorporates flash loans, Uniswap V2, BZX liquidations, and a few other areas for getting an idea of a whole flow for how one might do this. Now, of course, you'll need to look out for all the liquidation opportunities and calculate the, the you know, which, which liquidation opportunities are profitable because not all of them are profitable. But this smart contract should get you started in, in, in achieving that. So let's sit down and take a look at the code. All right, in this video, we're going to talk about this BCX Liquidate smart contract. And what it basically allows you to do is to borrow money from Aave up to a few million dollars and then do a swap on Uniswap to pay back your funds while liquidating someone's unhealthy position on BCX. So let's talk about what the contract does. First, it imports all the interfaces that are needed. So we'll need to read and write from the BZX smart contract to do liquidations as well as get information on a loan based on the loan ID. We'll talk about that in a second. Additionally, we'll import the Uniswap interface so that we can actually perform swaps to take the collateral that BZX gives us and convert it back to the flash loan currency that we borrowed so that we can repay the loan. We'll obviously need the flash loan interface from Aave. Additionally, we'll need the ERC20 interface for dealing with our ERC20 tokens. By the way, this smart contract supports all major tokens that are on Aave except for USDT. And that's for a reason that's a little more advanced than what we're going to be getting into on this particular tutorial. Then we have the actual main contract and this is where everything happens. So this is set up so that the owner only the, and only the owner who is set when the contract is created can actually interface with most of the functions in this smart contract. So you'll need to deploy the smart contract on your own. When you deploy it you will be the only one who can interface with that contract. And that's because all of the funds are actually stored into the smart contract and you'll need to withdraw at the very end down here. We do have a 10% which you can change to anything you would like. Uh, 
that goes to the DeFi Education Project, which is this project. You can change that to zero if you would like. If you don't want to support future videos and more source code that comes out. But basically, all of your tokens can be withdrawn using the withdraw function and sending in the Ethereum address for the token. And you can send in this address if you'd like to withdraw Ether that's in the contract. You can also kill the contract and prevent it from functioning if you would like to clean up the space that you're putting on the blockchain after you're done with this contract. Now let's go back over to the top. Here we set a few key variables that we'll need. We'll need to create the BZX contract, the Uniswap contract, the Aave Flash Loan contract. Now these contracts are moving targets so as the owner you can update these addresses by calling for example if Aave moves their Flash Loan repayment address or their flash loan address you can send that in and update it additionally if uniswap changes their ethereum address you can update that here so this is flexible so that you don't have to create new contracts every time you want to do something additionally if you want to test in the test net environment such as a mainnet fork you can kind of set loan information and do various things uh, so if you look through the smart contract, you'll see how that is done. But let's start with the main function that you'll be calling. You're going to call Flash Loan and Liquidate. And what this allows you to do is take a loan ID from BZX, and it kind of does everything for you. In a sense, it retrieves the max liquidable amount, the max that you can liquidate, and other information that will be important. So you don't have to worry about the additional details. You just need to have the loan ID that you've seen that will actually generate a profit if you were to pay back the loan, take the collateral, and then use that collateral to swap on Uniswap and also pay back the small interest that Aave charges for the flash loan. Then it calls Perform Flash. This is where Aave then... This is where Aave gives you the funds that you need. So you don't actually have to have any funds in this smart contract for it to run. In fact, it's designed as such. So this is mostly only for larger transactions. We use this as an example transaction just to show that everything's working. Then down here we have the smart the function that Aave calls. So then when you perform the flash loan, Aave gives you the funds and then calls this function, which needs to, at the end, return the amount that you borrowed or more. If you don't return the amount, then the whole transaction goes away. So you'll need to make sure to keep this part in your code and return them their money plus the fee. So here we, per we, we call the perform trade. Now this is the most important method in the smart contract perform trade then it looks if you're dealing with ether or not because if you're dealing with ether it's handled differently than a token it then goes and it approves the token that for the amount that you need so that your smart contract can actually interface with bzx's contract and send the tokens that are needed to repay the loan and then here you repay the loan by calling the liquidate function and then you get the remaining amount so if it's F this is called if it's not F then this is called if it's F then we have to wrap it in WETH to then perform a Uniswap here but then we go over to perform Uniswap which performs the Uniswap function and creates the link that you need in order to actually take the collateral amount that you've received and then convert that back to the loan currency that you borrowed. Once you've done that, it then is able at the end here after that function is called, so that's when this is over, you're able to then pay back the loan and if the amount is greater than what you borrowed, the transaction goes through. 
So let's talk about how to actually find loans. So in this video description, we will leave a link to this smart contract. And basically this is BZX's proxy contract that you can interface with by clicking on read as proxy. And then down here, you can get all of the active loans. So you can start from index zero and then go up to just however many there are. And then you can get all of the unsafe loans. So I'll put true. You can get all of the loans, but you're probably interested in the ones you can liquidate. You click query. This takes a bit of time. And then in a few moments, we will see all of them. So here is the actual loan ID that you would use and send over to your smart contract. Here is another one. And this is all the information. This is the amount of the tokens that you can actually liquidate. And then other information like when the loan expires and other data. So these are all loans that are currently able to be liquidated. So if you create a bot or something like that that monitors this address and this information, you can see all of these loans that are here and the liquidatable amount, you can go ahead and liquidate them. Sometimes the amounts are so high in the hundreds of thousands to millions of dollars that they require a flash loan to actually perform. And that's where this contract comes into play. So if you want to run this, you can go over to Remix or you can do it with Truffle. And you can look at our other previous videos about how to test on the tests on the main net fork or whatnot. I'm going to switch my network over to this TART card, which TART card is basically my simulated environment that's a main net fork. And so I can take the contract, which is this contract, and I can then deploy it. I can go over here and you'll need to select, of course, Injected Web 3, whether you're on mainnet or your forknet. You'll want to go to BZX Ave Flash Liquidate. That's your contract. Don't select any of these. You don't want those. And then you can click Deploy. You'll need to make sure that on the testnet you have the proper funds, which in this case I do. And I'll click Deploy. You'll then deploy the contract. You can set whatever gas price you'd like because it's a test forknet. And then you'll see your contract down here. And then you can call to get the loan information. You can take loan IDs here. So when you hit get active loans, you have all of the IDs, IDs that drop down. You can take those and then over here you can paste in one of those. So you're going to call flash loan and liquidate. And then you can click the button. And if you get an error, then it probably is not going to return the enough money. But if you're doing a main net fork on a recent block and it takes a little bit of time, you'll get MetaMask popping up. And this means that this would actually work. Now, one thing I can tell you is that you'll definitely need to set the gas limit probably to about 2 million or 2.5 million on the main net for this to actually work. So you're going to set that a little higher than what it defaults to because it's interfacing with so many contracts. It doesn't know how to calculate it. But then once you set that to 2 million, you're not going to use the whole 2 million, but just have it just in case so you don't run out of gas because then you're going to still use the gas and that's just a waste of, waste of money. So then you'll do that and then you'll click confirm. And when you confirm, your transaction will go through. Any profit when you withdraw it, it will send some 10% to the DeFi education project to support more cool scripts like this. But if you're not feeling so giving, you can just take out that line of code and you can keep all the profits for yourself. Also, again, this is for educational purposes. This contract has not been audited and you must use it at your own risk. Further, if you'd like to support more and you don't even want to use the contract, we have an Ethereum address right here. This is essentially how to get flash loans to work. You'll need to, of course, probably build a bot that monitors this 
and then you can call your contract and execute. So good luck liquidating. There are oftentimes millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands to tens of thousands of dollars in profit opportunities that occur within DeFi markets across CZX, like we showed in this example, as well as other platforms like DYDX and others. I hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching.